From growing up in a small town with a couple thousand people to performing on national television for millions of people, that's been what the last few looks weeks have looked like for Gina Miles. She's still celebrating her big win from this past season of The Voice. It's well deserved and looking back at how our town Paxton helped her climb the ladder to where she is today. WCI 3's Amanda Burnham sat down with the singer and has her story. I would say like 12 or 13, so not necessarily little, just young. Um, and I just, I loved to write, I loved to sing and, and do things, obviously not well, but I, I did love to do them. But after years of choir and performing at Paxton Buckley Loda High School. I didn't know what I was waiting on. Then you that quickly changed for Gina Miles. Every you had me. Our winner in all five of our finalists tonight. She's bringing home this trophy and looking back at her winning season on NBC's The Voice. It started with a blind audition in front of four artists she calls her idols. I remember like telling everyone, I was like, they literally look like wax figures, like they're all so perfect. Niall turned around and it was very like, like having a friend immediately. So Niall Horn took the 19 year old under his wing. That's the biggest thing that I took away from Niall is being prepared is the best way to combat your nerves because I am a very <laughs> nervous performer. She says his advice helped her feel more at peace and helped her focus on the music. There she goes again. I started this because I wanted to sing, I wanted to write, I wanted to perform. Um, and after this, I hope to just do exactly that. I, I want to write more, I want to perform, I want to be able to go places and see people. To help her get there, she's leaning on Our Town Paxton. They've had her back the whole time with watch parties and signs in storefront windows. I have nothing but like nice things and thankfulness to say because I really had never imagined in a million years that that would be the kind of response that I would get. She certainly didn't expect a billboard like this one on I-57 either, especially living in California today. Even the support after moving away, like I still see that as my home and it was nice that they still saw it as my home too. Reporting in Our Town Paxton, Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader.